What's up YouTube? Long overdue for an 8-track video. So this is a Craig H260 I believe it is. I'm excited to get this fixed up and working. It's got really nice transport controls on this. These are really solid buttons. So far I'm just noticing a lot of noise in all the controls so it's in desperate need for a few shots of Deox at D5, but we'll get to that momentarily. Just see how this does. There's a lot of noise in these output level pots. Well, these are also record level pots, I'm sure, too. There's one channel. See, the other one doesn't always work. And then also it's got all the auto eject functions on here. And then there's play features for all the four programs or just one. Pause control, which I think still keeps the motor running. Fast forward, and it can eject the tape. It's a nice soft eject too. It's got a counter on here that's not working. It might just need a second belt. I ordered a replacement belt for this already, but I don't think it's a kit with multiple belts. I think it's just the flat belt, so I'm not sure if there is a counter belt out there somewhere in a different kit or what have you. Unfortunately, there is plastic bracket around the head and it is cracked so that sucks. This is really disappointing with that stupid thing in here like it sounds so good. such nice sound even through these teeny little monitor speakers <laughs> and then it's just a shame like I don't even know what the frequency response is on this deck but that sucks with this stupid thing in here like I don't know what to do with this now change of plans <laughs> now I've got this guy I actually got a refund for that Craig one since the head thing was cracked and I said it was essentially useless they didn't have to do that, but it was nice to just get the full refund for it. So anyway, this I got from eBay is a JVC 1250 Run 2 or RUN2 right there. This is probably from the early 70s, I would think. There's no pause control or counter on it, but it's got an AC motor, which is nice in terms of the reliability and stability. Thankfully, there's no plastic bracket around the head. This thing's old enough and high quality enough to not have that in here. doing laundry in the background so don't mind the noise probably needs a little bit of work but at least this would be fixable compared to having that plastic crap around the head uh, select got some noise through the amplifier but and the panajack 
probably just need servicing, but this should be a nice unit. Alright, here's the underside of the union unit. Conveniently, there's a track adjust access here for the azimuth screw. Um, this is this rubber is in nice shape for the feet. Still nice and soft. <clears throat> Not all deteriorated or anything. Alright, that's simple to get apart. Here's a look at some of the internal things in here. So again, this is a nice AC motor. Big run cap, most likely. It's interesting that the belts on these are actually round. It's like way thinner than a vacuum cleaner belt, but it's round like a vacuum belt. We got this big metal plate here, so it's probably a little difficult to get to the playhead to clean it, but it did look clean from just looking at it in here, from what I can tell. Hopefully it's not too worn or anything. And then this is our main amplifier board. Alright, here's a look at the amplifier board a little bit. It's kind of hard to fully lift this up if you were to need to recap it, because there's a lot of stuff hardwired to it. But at least want to try and spray into the record play switch, which is here. Alright, I gave it some deoxid in the record play switch in these record level pots. And then this mode switch here just for good measure. Let's just see if the noise is gone now. I got like a crappy speaker connection to the other side, but one second. Alright, so it's getting better. Not sure about that like 60 cycle hum when I hit this change the tracks but it's definitely sluggish and needs some lubrication and cleaning for the track change mechanism so let me turn this down I'm still worried about the copyright and this is Warner Brothers so let me put some light on here hit the track change Solenoids moving pretty slowly to even change this over to move the head and whatnot. Alright, I took out an E clip underneath, so I'm just going to remove the flywheel, try to get this cleaned up and lubricated. that e-clip put back in, the flywheels put back in. Try to just clean this with alcohol without taking it apart too far. Um, I think it's noticeably better. Just quickly demo this. So you just try to get a faster snappy track change. Might even hit the splice right here, I'm not sure. It's a pretty long pause. It seems like it's about to. See, it instantly goes right from four to one.
forgetting the eject button is red. But yeah, that's that's doing pretty well, so hopefully I can just button this back up. Although I I also want to test how this records too. Alright, so I just did a brief record test. I don't know, one weird thing I've kind of noticed about this, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like this, but during recording it didn't really seem to monitor the audio through the output, which I thought was odd, but it plays back with the audio, so it did make a recording, but I think I might need to find a replacement belt for this. There's, there is some slack in it. So I had, I deliberately recorded a song with some piano music to test for wow and flutter, and it's definitely apparent in this recording. It's a lot of warble. It's like, uh, 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 uh. the fidelity sounds pretty decent even just through these monitor speakers this is a tape I recorded on a Pioneer HR99 I had 10 years ago July 22nd 2013 I have some piano in part of a song on track 4 and I think it sounds stable I think that's like U2 or something, maybe. I mean, this sounds fine, right? It doesn't sound all fluttery. Maybe it does. Kind of see how shaky the belt is. This was a soundtrack. Probably hard to find one for this since it's round. And the battery is almost dead in the camera, so I guess I'm gonna say bye for now. Thanks everyone for watching. I've really missed my eight tracks. So I'm glad to get back into these again. I'm trying this boiling trick just as a last resort. I think I saw this mentioned from like 12 volt vids or somebody. But the problem is that the belt is kind of pear-shaped or egg-shaped, and it's just not round, which is a result of the speed instability, I'm sure, because it kind of shifts from side to side as it's running, so I don't know if this is going to save it. I already attempted to just order a new belt from, like, turntablenewels.com. Well, that didn't help a whole lot still see the hump in here and it's still not perfectly round so I just ordered a new belt like I said can't wait for it to get here I missed my 8 tracks thumbs up for 8 tracks <laughs>